get it into my uh, private space, I guess, away from basketball life. Um, it's a laid back lifestyle, um, so I'm excited to be back. Uh, obviously, I can see the family uh, and my friends and uh, kind of go back to my roots, you know. Um, just to ground myself and to remember myself where I come from. Uh, that's the whole point of bringing my team here. Um, it's about seeing different perspective from uh, my community life to the city life. Um, so it's exciting to be home, uh, especially with the whole team. Uh, I had a thousand kilometer drive up uh, north to Birmingham from Cairns. Um, it's probably about 65 to 70 percent uh, sealed road. Um, it was a long drive. Uh, obviously, I came with uh, Troy Stone and Mark Beecroft. The hoops, you can tell, not a lot of basketball being played here, but. I grew up on these courts, um, trying to pursue playing basketball, I guess, but I was more of a rugby, rugby league uh, fan. And over there is the rugby league oval. Um, but these are the courts we come out and shoot with at night, they turn the lights on. The rooms are a bit wrecked, but um, this is what we have to put up with, you know, when you live in the community. Um, to maintain, it's hard to maintain courts here in the, in the community. Uh, but the floor's all good. Um, it used to be the way it was, the way worse. Um, but yeah, it's where I grew up and where I started playing basketball, you know. I'm only a very shy kid playing, so it would take me a bit even to uh, get on the court here. So um, coming back and, and seeing this, you know, reflect on my childhood. Um, and a lot of fun times, you know, not only basketball, we play, we play touch footy on there. Um, so this court um, gave us a lot of good use. So, um, Excited to be back and, and see where it's gonna take me and make possibly younger kids coming through, I guess. Welcome the NBL Cairns Taipans team to our country. This is our traditional country. And it's good to see Nathan Boy and, and the team here, Kerry. Hippie dreaming, water dreaming. We are freshwater and saltwater people. We all here in Ingeno. That's our old village. Just there where the campground is. All our families, our Aboriginal and our Torres Strait Islander families. We all congregated there prior to spreading out in the NPA. of this camp and a little bit more so of tonight is to uh, figure out a little bit more of what individual makes what makes you guys tick and better understanding so we've done a great job leading up to this with the player presentations and I think um, I don't want to answer for everybody here but the reality is I think we learned something new about each individual that it's kind of cool when we're still reflecting on their stories yeah. weeks after so I've given you a card and you've also got a marker. Now, you're just limited to the size of that card, but it can also just simply be one word if that's how you want to answer it. But what I want to do is go into you individually and ask the question, why? What's the best? 219. Who, who has it? 
219. But is it fair? Do yep. they get a fair 219? Absolutely. We'll get a shot of this. Uh, that wasn't outside the rules. My dog Tim's yeah, didn't hit my chest one. Yeah, but he didn't count it. Hang on. So what? Who saw what? Hey. Stay tuned, baby. Last night around the campfire, um, the boys really opened up and showed a bit of vulnerability to each other. And I think that was probably the most realist moment in my 11, 12 years being involved in the NBL where I've seen an activity like that um, go the way it did. So, I mean, I know I walked away from now, I couldn't sleep just thinking about everything that the guys spoke about and really got personal about. And um, yeah, from a personal level, I, I couldn't thank them enough for just embracing what that task was last night. Definitely built some chemistry, uh, some competitive drive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was way tougher than I thought. Uh, of course, I should have known with 40 being our coach. Uh, it, it was, it was, it was exhausting. Is the word I would use. Uh, it challenges you mentally and physically. Uh, but it was a great way to build and get off the court and still work out and still uh, have that competitive juices going and flow going. Bankstown. <laughs> double two, double oh, double no, 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 today, today, today was really good for us, uh, team building wise. Uh, I think it tested everyone in a different way. Um, the pseudo Serbs obviously won the challenge, we've been throwing that out now. Uh, but it was a really fun, fun day, you know, experience the culture obviously with Nate, we're going to eat some turtle tonight. So uh, I'm excited about that. But um, no, it was good, it was a good team effort, and yeah, now we're just enjoying some presidents. The card game, card game. <laughs> <laughs> no calls <laughs> for us. <laughs> <laughs> Helping organise clinics and get all the kids to the to the courts, um, you know. So re representing him with this ball signed by all the players. Uh, thanks, guys. For this, um, I think it's exciting to have you guys up here. Eh? Very exciting. Um, uh, you know, for the kids as well, just to see what Uncle Nate or Bala Nate or Ate Nate <laughs> is getting up to in Cairns there with the Cairns Taipan. So, you know, like, it's an honor to have you guys here, you know. Yeah. I can't swim, and I'm out here trying to learn how to dive. So it's like no, no similarities. Where I come from is dry heat, um, and in terms of just the the community, the family, I think that there's a huge similarity in that. Just the just to see Nate's whole family be together like that, and I think that's that's something that my culture also um, takes a huge part in. Just that family culture, and I think guys got to understand that um, that family culture and sort of just relate it to where they come from. And so in that part, yeah. Family culture is huge here. Man, there's so much to like about the trip. I mean, just the perspective of coming up here and being able to see the northernmost tip of Australia, um, it's been unbelievable. Um, it's something I've really enjoyed and um, you get to see a different perspective. Um, you also get to see how big of a heart um, Nate has um, and the area that he comes from and just the person that he is 
it allows you to to see a different perspective of how he was raised and how he made it out and how he he's done so much uh, with his career. Um, and then he, he brings us up here so that we can see see his side of it. Um, and I enjoyed it. Like we got to see the dances. We got to have some of his type of soul food, which was amazing. Um, and then obviously we're in an area where we got to work out as a group. We got to sit on the beach. Um, we got to be around the red dirt that turns right into beach. Obviously there's crocs in the water, but still we, we got in that water. Um, we bonded as a team. It was amazing. Um, it was amazing. You get to shack up with a bunch of guys in a cabin and inside of that cabin, you get to speak to those guys and, and have real heartfelt stories to talk about, um, have real heart to hearts and, and speak on things that you probably won't ever speak about. Um, and that's what this is about, um, being able to see the bigger picture. I love the experience, you know, I love coming to new places and meeting new people, seeing new things. Um, obviously we did a lot of team stuff which was awesome, got to know the guys, but um, just grateful for the experience. You know, I think um, got a little bit closer to everyone, found out a little bit more about them. Um, probably more than I wanted with some, but um, it is what it is. Oh, Lance, this is Scott, Scott, this is my cousin Lance. Nice to meet you, Lance. You too, brother. Right, it'd be good for the boys just to come up again. In the, in the future, especially for the young ones that, that's uh, coming through. But yeah, it's nice, pretty big inspiration on the community. As you can see, all the kids, they will look up to Nathan and, uh, and like, especially meeting all, all his teammates and uh, all the staff behind the Titans and um, um, like for the younger generation coming through. And um, never, you never know, might be future, future Titans plays uh, coming through and you never know. And then now that you now that we're here and we we've done it, and you can see the foundation, like those initial building blocks where it's been set. So my original expectation, I think now where there was a bit of a ceiling after this um, three-day camp in Bamaga, there's no ceiling to it now. So the direction we want to take it in isn't capped at any point. I think the reason I've changed my view in the sense that it's it's exceeded my original expectations is now you see guys having conversations about their teammates of things they didn't know about them that they brought up at some point in this camp you know there's guys that have spent three seasons playing alongside of each other and learnt something new over the course of the three days They enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think the guys made it easy for them. Um, they loved the reaction that the guys had um, with the food and with the dancing. Um, and just impressed um, how down to earth the whole team is um, saying hello to everybody, um, having a chat. They enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I think it's going to be in their memory for a long time.